Hey after school, welcome to our bowling lesson. Now, just like last week with the soccer stuff, you're gonna be using a ball that can be in, uh, used indoors if you're at home. You could use your sock ball, you can use crumpled up pieces of paper. Any ball that is not going to um, do any damage around your house or break anything. So I'm gonna be using the same ball as we did for the soccer stuff. And as you can see, I have a bowling pin set up over there for bowling. But if you don't have a bowling pin, you can use anything like maybe an empty soda bottle, one of those big two liter ones, or even a smaller empty water bottle, um, something that's not gonna make a lot of noise when it hits the ground if you knock it over, and something that's obviously safe to use. So we have our different distances, just like we did for our soccer goal activity. We have our K, through second grade distance, which is about four big steps away from our, our target. And then we have our three, uh, third grade through fifth grade distance, that's about eight steps away from the soccer goal, or I'm sorry, from the bowling pin. So what we're gonna do for a, to do um, a bowl is to make sure we have an underhand grip like this. So we don't wanna be throwing the ball at the pin like this, we wanna be rolling it underhand. So to do a proper bowling shot, you wanna make sure that you're gonna reach back with your underhand grip and step with your opposite foot at the same time. And as you're doing that, you're gonna lower to the ground and let the ball go pretty much near the floor so that it rolls without bouncing, okay? So you're gonna be doing bowls back and forth if you knock down a bowling pin, you get a point, and you're trying to see how many points you can get in about 10 minutes, okay? We're just practicing form, and then tomorrow, when we do our second bowling activity, we'll add some exercise to it, and we'll try to compete for a score, but for today, we're just gonna practice our technique. So I'm gonna model a couple bowls, just so you can see, and then you can get started when you have PE today. So here we go. So I'm at the third to fifth grade zone. So I'm gonna step, reach back, lower with my underhand grip and release the ball low to the ground and see if I can get a point. Close. So you can get the ball, you bring it back to your zone and you can bowl again. There you go, that would be a point. Don't forget to set up your pin before you go back to do another shot and you would continue, okay? Again, you're playing for about 10 minutes, record your points, and then tomorrow we will add um, a little game with some exercises to this. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys soon.